courtesans and gentle fops, I bid you welcome to my opera. Let us cavort like the Greeks of old. He's solid gold. He's entirely funded by taxpayer money. And he's completely in a 100% hedonistic. It's calcula. Wait, no. It's hedonism, bot. Anyway, in order to do hedonism, bot, excuse the phrasing, we'd need to find a few reference images. Now, I've made props before, and you need to find some reference images to go along and know what you're actually doing with the prop itself. Uh, unfortunately, hedonism bot's a little bit difficult to do in the sense that he is firstly a cartoon, which his proportions and things change a lot, um, as well as there are no um, side on, front on, top down views of him. He's always on the 45 degree, I think it's orthographic style view. I mean, that's for the sake of the cartoon, of course. But uh, unfortunately, this is no actual really good reference image, as well as his very blobby nature um, can be quite difficult to actually uh, design up in uh, computer aided design programs like Design Spark Mechanical. So it is really starting off with these circle type things and then just rounding them out into balloon ball shaped objects to try and get stomach and torso all in there. And then we go up for a head shaped thing, which is basically some can with a dome on it, little semi-circle thing cut out the side of it, and a couple of eye holes. I also do his laurel on a plane at the side, uh, around his head, and extrude that through. And then I then extrude another circle from the bottom of his head through that laurel to then cut it down so it follows and matches the profile of his actual head. And there we go, we can see he's designing the chaise lawn as well, where he's got four massive feet coming out the bottom. He's got a nice sturdy base to stand on. This is actually a really good model to 3D print. It lends itself very well, especially when you split the bed down like that. Now his arms, I've designed them so that you can run a length of wire through, and I've put a little chamfer in the top there just so the arms have plenty of articulation when you're moving them around, the wire's got plenty of place to go, so you can pose hedonism bot in almost any pose that you want. And you've got tons of, I say, playability, collectability, modelability. Who knows what you want to use it for? I don't care. I have a hedonism bot, and so do you do. And there we go, I've finished up the model. I had to, you know, jump cut to the end because it took a fair few hours of playing and tweaking around, getting the proportions right, especially when dealing with a 45 degree ortho orthographic view, let's say. They're tweaking and adjusting here and there, and uh, I think I've got something that I'm really happy with. Let the games begin! <laughs> Oh right, a little tip I've learned from Adam Savage's Tested is to gnaw all your parts out. Literally put you in a really lovely mindset as to starting a project auspiciously. You can see everything, lay everything out, you know exactly what you're doing, and it's just to gnaw them out really nice and neatly. 
sets you off in a project. It's a really good state of mind to, to start. I just want to tidy up those 3D prints. They can come off with some support material and there might be some bobbling and extruding, which tells me I need to tweak the settings on my slicer software. That's okay, I can just uh, easily pop those off with my little Dremel thing there. Now, I've included a little hole through the back where I've put some uh, galvanized wire through. That's the uh, armature wire that will be used to pose his arms. You can pick this up, literally I bought this at like a, a home bargain store. It's literally just galvanized wire that you use for tying plants back. It's usually found in the garden center section. And each of his arm pieces just slots over the top like that, uh, nice and easy. And then his little claw hands will go at the end to secure them all together. And there you can see both of his arms on like that. Now I'll bend a couple of little hook hands, just so they can slot into those grooves I was filing out earlier. And that's going to keep the hands on nice and rigid, nice and firm, as well as keeping all of those arm pieces on as well. That sounds like a job for me! Bend it! You can see a nice little groove I've left to get those hands on. I've also printed the claw hands in two separate parts so they can sandwich either side. So it's not going to reveal any fasteners, it's not going to reveal any of the magic of how I've put this together. It'll take some fiddly in adjustment, but that's the beauty of this galvanized wire is you can more or less bend it as much as you like and it'll be fine. And there's the joke, running joke for all two of my regular viewers. My favorite CA glue. Just a little double do, a bigger gobble screw, just in and around there. Well, actually, I say a little double do, I mean, plenty of glue. Keeps it all together. And yes, trying to film this one handed and putting the glue on is a little bit difficult. So you'll excuse my poor production quality filming. Well, all two of my. Regular viewers will have excused my poor production quality filming already. So, hi. And there we go. Both of his hands on, attached to his arms. He's looking good. And there you can see both of his arms on, like that. I added a couple of reference holes, uh, just so that I'd be able to line him up really nice on his little chaise long bed thing uh, at these little at the same galvanized wire that you would have got for uh, adjusting his arms and there we go there's three little pegs in there Another round of my famous CA glue, and we'll just stick it on the bottom. Well, I'm sure Hedonism and Bod will have stuck it on his bottom before. Oh my and that's just going to keep him nice and secure on the end of the bed. I mean, he's only going to sit here as an ornament, really. Um, looking pretty, as he always does. And that just mounts in nice and easy through those reference holes so I don't have to worry about lining him up. I don't have to worry about anything like that. I can just stick him down and we know he's perfect. And we'll do exactly the same with his stomach. Oh, oh my yes. oh, oh.
And now we'll add some detailing to him. Uh, I went through with a little Sharpie marker um, just to add some of the black lining that you see. Unfortunately with his teeth I would really like to see if I could get some uh, purple sort of filament, uh, something like that, but I didn't have any for now. Uh, I tried with a blue uh, Sharpie to colour the filament before I started printing, but it didn't really work out very well. The white looked better. And then I'm just filing this back to one, smooth out the eyes, and two, get rid of any stray Sharpie marks that might have, you know, come in there. Uh, also, getting rid of any excess dirt and lumpy bits too. And the same thing with his teeth. You can see it goes from this bleeding, horrible mess to an actual reasonably clean line. And there we go. We'll give Hedonism Bot a new grill and a flashy set of peepers. And they just slot into those lovely pre-cut holes. Hello, handsome. And he's almost finished. There's only one more piece to do now, and it's the shortest print time of them all. So these guys are his eyelids, and it's wonderful because you can add a lot of expression here. I mean, you can choose how you want him to look. Uh, I spent a couple of minutes playing around with it, but I decided to give him quite a neutral look. It's funny because there's a normal hedonism bot, angry hedonism bot, kind of sad looking depressed hedonism bot and a kind of mad hedonism bot and there we go after gluing them in place it, I wanted to pay a bit of attention to just getting his emotion looking right and that sort of relaxed I don't get I don't care sort of vibe that as hedonism bot does Might I procure your services? Okay, but I don't want people thinking we're robosexuals. So if anyone asks, you're my debugger. I apologize for nothing. Now, if you want to download and print Heatonism Bot for yourself, uh, you're more than welcome to. Uh, go to my Thingiverse page, links will be in the description. Download the files, print them out, and uh, have one of your own. Follow my little tutorial. And uh, yeah, get a Heatonism Bot of your own. And next week, we'll be featuring Bender. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time. Bye!